Some Queens residents are making sure that their voices are heard in the fight to save a historic building. They are trying to keep a synagogue and some other buildings from being torn down. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis has more from Rico Park. If you drive along Queens Boulevard, you can't miss this iconic building. From the clock tower above the tower diner to the marquee over the synagogue and all the businesses in between. It's very prominent and, and impressive, and it harbors uh, so much history, and our history uh, bonds the generations. Michael Perlman grew up in Forest Hills and is chair of the Regal Forest Preservation Council. He knows the history here. Ornatown Synagogue, it was formerly the uh, Trilum Theater, built at the time of the 1939 World's Fair in the, in the Art Deco style. It was, it, was a, it was a crown jewel. He's among more than 3,500 people who signed to this petition to save the building from demolition. The developer, RJ Capital Holdings, didn't return our request for comment, but a representative presented plans at a community board meeting to build a 15 story building with around 150 apartments, some affordable and commercial, adding space for a synagogue. So the building that we're asking for, I, I think, fits squarely within the character. And it's going to provide union jobs and it's going to provide affordable housing. Residents voiced concerns in the meeting from traffic to overdevelopment. The issue is, is that we don't need more high rise buildings to go up in this neighborhood. Why destroy our history? It is, it, it is the character of the neighborhood. We spoke to several business owners here, including the diner and this bike shop, which have plans to relocate in this community. The biggest challenge is, you know, relocating in such a short period of time, um, finding the, you know, right location and also the rent. Um, but, um, you know, we managed. The community board chair explained the building was not deemed historic through the city's landmarking process, so it's fair game for the developer. But it must be approved by the city for zoning changes. The, the power that we have as a community board, number one, is to make sure all of the, our community members' voices are heard, whether they're board members or not, um, and also to really have that relationship of the back and forth with the developers so that they do hear those concerns and can make changes along Along the way. With more public hearings to come, community members say they aren't giving up on their fight to keep history in place here. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. And the Queensboro president plans to hold a public hearing on the issue on December 2nd.